Welcome to Voodoo Whiskey Gaming, and this is my late review of The Wolf Among Us. I played it on the PS4, it's also available on the Xbox One and PC. And if you want to go back further, 360 and PS3. Why am I talking about it? Well, because as we recently found out, Telltale has gone under and we're not likely to get a second episode of it, so why not talk about the one we have? It's kind of like a memorial for it. So the story goes, you play as a fable, one of the many fables that have been chased out of their homeland and are now living in New York City. You specifically play as Big Bad Wolf, aka Big B Wolf, who operates as the sheriff slash a cop for the fables in Fable Town, as it's referred to. So it starts out with Bigby being called in on a disturbance, and, you know, he gets in the middle of what's going on. One of the people involved happens to be a prostitute. She claims she's going to come give her statement, and her head is later found severed from her body. That really kicks off what's going on in this story. It's a murder mystery slash mystery thriller at its core. It's a very noir story. I like it. It has that darker undertone, that kind of seedy city vibe. Overall, I really enjoy the story. There are times like in any of these telltale story-driven narratives that it gets a little frustrating because they give you X number of options and you may not necessarily want to say any of those things, so you just kind of have to pick the best one or what you consider the best one in that situation so that does get a little annoying but overall i do think it was a really well told story telltale is very much known for the walking dead games and one thing i really like about the wolf among us is that the story is morally driven versus survival driven in the walking dead you may make some horrible decisions like from a moral standpoint but you need to make them from a survival standpoint, whereas in The Wolf Among Us, it's very much a moral decision. You can do some horrible things, or you can choose not to, just based on where you stand. Like, if you want to be that person, you can in the story. As for the audio in this game, I think it's very well done. The voiceover work for each of the characters is excellent. I really didn't notice a point where it was terrible or even bad. So I'm very pleased with that. I mean, Telltale does do a good job of that. They've been doing this for quite a while. I also really like the music in this game. It does a good job capturing that noir vibe, that like gritty detective kind of movie vibe. It really helps with the storytelling in this game. As for the gameplay, this is a pretty traditional Telltale game. There is a little bit of exploration in certain areas, but it's generally just to find very specific clues and things to key into. You also have options to choose while having a conversation, and like I said, they are a little limited, but that's always been true of these games. They kind of guide the narrative a bit. What you do does affect where it goes, but the options they give you help to guide that. And then, of course, there are the action sequences, wherein it's basically just quick time events. Although you are admittedly given some options in how to proceed in some of the action sequences, but none of those make too much of a difference. It still generally goes in the same direction. Now, I've always had this complaint with Telltale Games. It's been a problem since the beginning, and you'd think because this game's been out quite a while, it would be patched away or something like that. But the game does lag at times. I didn't run into any major issues with it on this playthrough, but I do remember the first time I ever played through it, there were a couple of times where it screwed me over. Although admittedly in this game it is not nearly as bad as it is in some other Telltale games, it's just still ridiculous that it was ever a problem. Lastly, the controls. I found the controls to work very well. This wasn't like some of the other games where it just wasn't responding. This game responded very well to all the commands that I put in. There were a few times and I would consider this less a control issue, more of the way it was done in the scene. But there were times where you'd see a button command, you just would not have time to respond to it. So again, I feel like that was more of a problem with the scene rather than the controls themselves. Lastly, the graphics. This is a traditional Telltale game where it has very much that comic book look to it, which does very much fit because Fables is a comic book series, although I will say it has a very different art style from the comic books. That being said, I do like the art style. I am happy with it. I think they did a good job making this still colorful, but dark at times and giving you the vibe that you need to have with this game. So to wrap this up, I think it's pretty obvious that I enjoyed it. I enjoy these Telltale games. And I will say The Wolf Among Us is actually one of the better running of the games. So 
I'm a big fan of that, and like I've said before, it has a moral choice to it, and I like that because I do think that the Walking Dead ones are very much about survival, and a lot of the other ones, a lot of your decisions don't matter as much as they should, but I think in The Wolf Among Us, it's very morally driven, and I liked that. So obviously, I'm recommending this game. I think it's worth it. At this point in time, it's a fairly cheap game to get the entire thing, and it's a fun playthrough. Okay, so in the comments below, why don't you tell me if you've read the Fables comics? And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share or subscribe. Have a good one.